As you may know, I'm getting a Rob Roski hamster on Saturday the 9th of September. I'm also being sent an enclosure by a company which is 100 by 50 centimetres and I was planning on getting another Rob Roski for that enclosure. Then on a rehoming website I saw this absolutely gorgeous Syrian hamster and I knew that I had to get him. So I ordered a poor hot enclosure and decided to go and pick him up as soon as possible so I can give him proper care. This is the cage that he was housed in, so I think it's the Pets at Home medium cage, which is 35 by 50 centimetres, so it was unfortunately under the minimum of 100 by 50 centimetres. So I am getting him a paw hut, which is arriving any day now. The lady I adopted him from was absolutely lovely, and I also told her about this channel so she can keep up to date with him. She clearly cared about him so much but was just told the incorrect information that pet stores give out because unfortunately pet stores give out outdated information. I was told that he didn't run on the wheel that came with the enclosure and that's just because it was a bit too small. The minimum is 11 inches and currently he's got a wheel that's just below 11 inches and I'll be getting him an 11 inch wheel as soon as the port hut enclosure arrives because this enclosure cannot fit an 11 inch wheel. So as soon as I came home, I started to set up this enclosure and I tried to fit as much enrichment in here as possible. It is quite a small enclosure under the minimum, so I couldn't really fit that much. But I tried my best, so I added as much bedding as possible up to the top of the base and then some forage. The wheel is just under 11 inches, as I mentioned, so I'm getting him a new one soon. I added him in a sun bath and a dish with some beach chips in and then I added him into the enclosure.